We have hundreds of Squid Game honeycomb cookies and we will be making art out of them. We have six teams of two consisting of one artist and one subscriber. Whichever team wins will win $4,560 for the subscriber and $456 for the artist. Artists, pair up with the subscriber. Three teams. Oh, we got curly hair, Mark. Let's go. Looks like a winner. Totally a winner. I guess I'm with you. <laughs> Shorties. Me and Dan all the way. Yay! You have six hours to make your art. You gotta start out by making cookies. Go to the kitchen. Team kitchen work. <laughs> These are your cooking stations. You can make the cookies, put the mold on, but all the art needs to happen on set. This is Nick, our cookie specialist. Hello? He'll give you a quick tutorial on how to make these cookies. Mainly when you're melting your sugar, you just gotta make sure it doesn't start smoking. So fluffy. Press it down. Oh, there's the shape. Whoa! Oh. Press it in. That's it. It's very fast. Don't burn your sugar. Make sure you let it cool long enough before you put your baking soda in. And don't burn yourself. I'm scared to start. Do you want to start? We just realized that we're actually the perfect partners. I have a tiger tattoo right here, and she has a lion tattoo. Who do you think is going to be my biggest competition? Kenzie. You got that right. <laughs> So what they don't know is that the first person to make a cookie will actually get to steal someone else's first cookie. Let's go check on their progress. Where did your partner go? I'm right here. I'm at, I'm at. Then you're making Rachel do all the work. Nick, what are you doing? Nick! Turn it off, Nick, turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a little too smoky. Oh my god! We did it the first wow. try and did it burn. Yeah. Our pan is not working. So I didn't tell you guys, but for making the first cookie, you guys get the joy of stealing someone's first cookie. Oh. My camera is full of extinguisher. But if we win this challenge, you win 45, 6. It's really not that hard to say 4,560. Katie, so if you win this, you're going to take the money and make more cookies? Not more cookies. I'm going to make tie-dye. All kinds of cool t-shirts. I'm going to start doing sublimation printing. What about socks? Because I can sublimate on anything that's polyester. If you win, I get some free socks. Absolutely. That's called business. Look how perfect this cookie is. I think we were made for this. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, wow. Really? I'm feeling good about this one. Someone literally just stole our cookie. Since Mackenzie and Naomi finished making their cookie first, they gotta take someone else's first cookie. This is a very perfect cookie, and Mackenzie, you may do whatever you want with it. Hi. You guys are eating it? They just ate your cookie! It's fine. I got all the validation I needed that it was the best cookie yep. here. It'll, it'll come up. Wow, that's actually pretty good. What is that? Okay, that was so much harder than I thought. Oh my gosh, I haven't sat down in a sandbox in so long. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> we didn't lose yet. We don't plan on losing either. Diana came up with a really good idea. But we're thinking that we can do like a Let's octopus. Go. Hello. I think I'm suffocating. I suck at cooking, I suck at sculpting, and I really want to eat a cookie. <laughs> we have a goal here. And wow, you are scary. We're gonna make a miniature diorama. A full scale model. Okay, full scale model. Players, listen up, we have a little challenge. Over here, I have six coins. You have to flip four heads in a row before you can continue doing anything. All right, go. Hey, I said three done. I got three in a row. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Like they got it four times in a row on the first try. Let's check it. Tangle, start over. Come on. Yeah. So you have three heads. I have three. You have three heads. Oh. No. Shake. You need to start over again. Hit the wall. Whichever team gets four heads in a row last has a little punishment. It all comes down to you, George Washington. No. no. Start over. No. no. Flip heads for this one. Jake and Dan get punished. I think it is it. Hey, go! No! Jake and Dan, I'm gonna wait till you guys are done flipping. So this is your fourth one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see it for like the sixth time. Oh, now you guys got heads. Jake and Dan, <laughs> go run a lap. No. no. It's a very long run. We gotta do a lap. We figured out what our concept is going to be. We're doing an alligator. So I think we're gonna go with we're something more of when the dough is actually soft and sculpt something while it's soft. Gluing everything together just seems super tedious and way too time consuming, yeah. so. That looks like Yoda. I like it. It's kind of scary. Mackenzie and Naomi, how are things going? Pretty well. Pretty good. We've already made a really cool, like, different structure than anyone else has right now. So, Naomi, if you do win the 4.56 grand, uh, what do you think you'll spend it on? I don't know, maybe we'll get like a car or something. Ooh. Michelle and Diana, what do we have here? We're doing an octopus. 
I think it looks pretty cool so far. I would definitely say add some more stuff to it. Once we saw the piece, she was like, oh, I think I have a chance. And she's like, I can get a MacBook. Oh. <laughs> All right. Ben and Rachel, what's going on here? We are making Baby Yoda. Well, Rachel, if you do win this challenge, what are you going to spend the four and a half grand on? My rent. <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> Is this it? Look how exquisite yeah. it is. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect trying that. We're looking at the winners. Dan, since you're so confident, what are you going to spend the four and a half grand on? I'm thinking some new kicks. Okay. Gotta up my game. From these bad boys. <laughs> I'm going to critique what I can for now, and um, that looks pretty symmetrical. Good job so far. Gaz and Katie, what's going on here? I think that we have a good team chemistry. I gotta make sure I win now, because I can't let you down on those socks. Kind of on a time crunch, but I think we got it. Ow. <laughs> We're cutting it close, but I think we can get yeah. it. I need more cookies. Oh, blue human. <laughs> Corn just today. Okay, we're gonna do a little cabana. Do you like it when I walk up to you smiling? No, because I know something bad is about to happen. <laughs> I have six umbrella cookies. Each of you will take one. I'll give you 10 minutes to cut out the shape. If you cut it out, you're gonna win something really cool. If you don't cut it out, you get a mystery punishment. 10 minutes starts now. Um. The umbrella is the hardest shape, so somewhere around the set, I hit two lighters. While well, I'm doing this, start digging everywhere you find the lighters. Throwing it under. Got it. I got the other one. Oh, all right, they found both. I got the lighter. Let's go. Uh, oh, there's sand in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you cracked that whole thing! Nick and Mark just broke their cookie, so guards, take them to the side, please. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be as easy as a show, and it definitely wasn't. No! Uh, guards, another broken cookie. Please. Take them away. Why? Me. Go for it. That ours is broken. Guards, another one broke. Nobody's gonna finish this. Well, we got eliminated first, but it seems like everybody else did, and I don't think they're gonna make it. So only Jake and Dan, Rachel and Ben are left. <laughs> Come on, Ben. You got it. You got it. No! <laughs> Guards, take them away. Ben literally cracked it in the last second. Jake, final minute. See if he can take it out. Wait, they might actually do this. All right, let's just see if they can even take it out. No! Oh! Jake, you had it! It looks like everyone cracked it, which means you guys are all getting punished. I still have that cool thing I wanted to give you guys. So first three teams to finish running the lap, we'll get it. I'll go. Yeah. go, go, go. Jake and Dan were this close to removing the umbrella. And the first three teams to high five my hand, Win. Come on, Rachel! It's a long run, so save your energy. Come on, come on, come this way, come this way. I'm redeeming myself for cheating. This is horrible. Katie, let's go! Wait, guys, I actually don't see a drone in the sky. I'm gonna put on the burner. It's hot there right now. We're walking it now. Why don't Number four, five, six. You guys are first place. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have our first three. Shell, you were close. As you guys know, we launched our store, ZHCstore.com. It has plushies, it has hoodies, and you guys get to spend $300 on it. You guys came in second, so I'll give you guys $200 to spend at ZHCstore.com. Okay, okay. We're coming in third place, I'll give you guys $100 to split on ZHCstore.com. And if you guys want to get plushies or hoodies too, you can go to ZHCstore.com and buy something. There are a lot of trial and error. I love how our octopus is coming out. It looks so cool. <laughs> We have our crushed up cookies in a blender. What are you guys doing in here? Get away! Because I want to see what you're doing. Cheaters! I told Nick and Jake that they were cheating because they were not working in the sandbox like they were supposed to. You're going to end up redoing ours. Um, I'm a little nervous because we don't have that much time left. You like my beautiful smiley face? That's Isn't it so, so cute? cute? We're working on the little spine. Pretty much done with our first octopus. We decided to start a lobster. We added a little tiny eyes to our baby Yoda and I think it makes it look way for our next challenge, follow me outside. So for this challenge, we're gonna play red light, green light. Uh... The first person to make it across the line at the end gets a huge advantage. Whoever's eliminated can no longer compete for the remaining 30 minutes. And the last three get punished with push-ups. Is everyone ready? Finish! Green light. Red light. Jeff! Yeah. 
I saw that extra step. Jazz no! can now no longer compete. If they go too fast and their momentum carries them forward, they're out. Green light. Red light. I saw that. I think you're out. Green light. Green light. Red light. Oh! Looks like Mackenzie is in the lead right now. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Nope. Oh, Mackenzie, I saw that. No, you didn't. I saw that. Go wait over there. Green light. Red light. Red light. Oh, no. Green light. Red light. Oh, Ben. Get out of here. Green light. Green light. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Nick, you're first. You guys are in the bottom three, so you guys are gonna come in with me, roll a die, and have some push-ups to do. Nick, so you're the first one to complete the challenge, which means you get a big advantage. I'm gonna give you a cup of water. <laughs> you can drink it, or you can do something else with it. Okay, perfect. I know what I'm doing. We can't finish our project, and our project is not done. I'm not like, I hate it. I'm so mad! Oh, look at that. Oh, that's actually really cool. You yep. survived, and that's the point. Now I'm out of the challenge, and Rachel will go all by herself now. I'm not really sure where to go with this by myself. <laughs> Honestly, this is how I felt when I lost the red light, green light. Nick, you have your cup of water? So you remember last cross video I was in where Jake made me tattoo Ethan's armpit? I think it's some time for revenge. How is everybody doing? In my hands, I have something that can destroy your sculptures. Wait, what? Hey, Jake! Don't, like, crocodiles need water to survive? Yeah, don't worry, I have some water right here. Oh, we're good. No, you no, could no, use no, some, no. actually. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jake. Jake, it's melting! Every single time I finish a piece, it gets destroyed. Wah, wah, wah. I was letting Nick stay at my apartment, but now I think he's gonna have to find a hotel. I don't think it was necessarily fair to do this this deep into the competition. Welcome to the Crafts Channel, baby! No worries. I think we got this in a bag. We have around 10 minutes left. Diana, Mark, and Michelle, each one of you guys are gonna roll a die. Whatever number it is, multiply it by 10. That's how many push-ups you do. Are you ready, Diana? Are you not? <laughs> All right, 30 push-ups. 40 push-ups. Michelle. One. 20 push-ups. All right, go do your push-ups. Damn. How can they just do that? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. 30 seconds left. Our sculpture is actually standing by itself, thank God. We're about to bag this right here. I actually have a chance to win. This is absolutely crazy. At least we have a finished project, and our octopus is really cute. Three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Okay, so now it's time for the judging process. I want you to say hi to our guest judge. Is this Zach? Oh. Hi, Zach. Preston, so today you will be judging some honeycomb art pieces. Oh, I'm so ready. This is our clock structure. It is the smoothest, cleanest structure you will see throughout this entire <laughs> competition. I had to hand cut and saw and carve. There's clocks, and as you see, the clocks both show the same time. I thought the, uh, the time was actually the Lexus symbol, but I like it. Well, if you like Lexus, it can be the Lexus symbol. Or do you want to spin it around, show Preston? No. no. Hey, let me see There's the nothing. Butt. Preston wants to see the butt. No! Preston, they don't want you to see the butt. Good job. Let's move on to the next one. Michelle and Diana. So right before I said who the guest judge was, Michelle was like, please don't be Preston. Please don't be Preston. Please have mercy on me. This is a really good piece. <laughs> this is Peter the octopus. This is Crystal the lobster. And Crystal oh. is attacking Peter because Peter called her shellfish. That's a good dad joke. I'm a fellow dad myself. I think so far it's probably better than the Lexus Tower. And what I like about this is you guys show me the butt. Yeah, you oh, can have the butt. We'll show butt. you butt all day. I hate to say it, but I would eat that butt. Oh, thank goodness. Good job, Michelle and Diana. Oh ah! All right. Oh, shoot. The next players are Ben and Rachel. I think you'll really like this one. It's Baby Yoda riding an armadillo Mars rover. I don't know if I can look at this any longer, guys. <laughs> I don't think it needs any more explanation. Because it's so good, right? You've caused emotional damage inside of me. <laughs> What's wrong with his face? Here's the butt. Ooh, he does have a nice, kind of like a devil's tail. All right, good job, Ben and Rachel. I've seen this girl before. We have oh. here a beautiful diorama of a beach day. We have Chad and Brad gonna go shred the gnar, and we have our happy hut with a bar and some bar stools. And he's just chilling under his a little palm tree, relaxing, didn't want to go surfing. It's not bad. I do like the bar. Good job, Jazz. Good job, Katie. 
We have Dan and player number 456, AKA Jake. So Preston, here we have our Dalgona Cyborg Crocodile. He's got spines going all the way down his back. His back legs are actually in the sand with his claws poking out. He got into a little tussle, so half of his face is ripped off and you can see the cyborg skeleton underneath. I like the build, guys. I like the crocodile. Good job, Jake and Dan. We have Nick and Mark. His name's Bilmo. Legend has it that only one lumberjack has ever seen him because he only comes out at night. What the hell is going on with him? <laughs> he's working out, he's got some abs. Good job, Nick, good job, Mark. Preston, now the moment of truth. I'm gonna need you to give each team a ranking starting with the very lowest one. Obviously, Baby Yoda gotta be in the lowest. Preston! <laughs> ben and Rachel, unfortunately, you two are out. Who's the next team to go? Wasn't really vibing with it. Woody Woods, gotta go. Oh. He looks like Satan, dude. Enforcers, you know what to do. Good job, Mark. Good job, Mark. I want to go a little bit spicy. I'm going to eliminate two players, or two teams at once. The Lexus Clock Tower and Joe's Crab Shack. Oh. Guards, take them away. We have our final two. I need to look at them side by side. The winner walks away with 4.56 grand. This is a big one. All right, so Michelle clearly lost a little bit of favoritism because she doesn't like me. Jake and I are homies and often we get along pretty well. At the end of the day, I must remain unbiased and a fair judge. So the winner is gotta be none other than the lobster. <laughs> It's a butt. It's 100% butt. Here, Jake. I can't be mad at you, Preston. Oh, my Uber's here. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> His Uber was here. He had to go. Any last words? We tried our hardest. I wish you guys could have seen it if it was not destroyed. I'm sorry you guys didn't win. For coming out, I'll send each of you guys home with 200 bucks. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm the artist, and Impressive. she did 95% of it. Diana, here is 4.56 oh, grand as promised. It's a little bit heavy. Oh. And Michelle, you win $456, so good job. Yay! Thank you guys so much. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, and we might have you come out for a video too. See you guys.